Okay, quick, off the top of your head, what's the number one place you'd like to drive a brand new Lamborghini? If you set the Bells Line of Road or the Great Ocean Road, yeah, well done. But what about a racetrack? That'd be even better. That way you could let the 400 plus kilowatts off the leash and see what really happens. If, however, you said that the place you would most like to drive a brand new Lamborghini is on a frozen lake in the middle of nowhere in winter on road tyres, well, you've probably got rocks in your head. So, of course, guess what we're about to do? This is Nagano in Japan. It's where they had the Winter Olympics a few years ago, and I can see why. It's a beautiful day, but it's minus four. And under this cover is the new Lamborghini Huracan. So stand back, because anything could happen here. Our racetrack for the day is Lake Megami, about four hours north of the Japanese capital, depending on the notorious Tokyo traffic. At this time of year, the lake is frozen to a depth of about 40 centimetres, or at least we hope so. And as well as a slalom course to practice skid control, there's also a bull ring for learning to drift half a million dollars worth of Lamborghini. The first thing to do out on the ice is to take a passenger ride with your instructor as he explains how to make a car slide using the throttle rather than relying on the steering wheel. And push the gas and cut the steering and push the gas. Now it's our turn and as you can see, there's pretty much zero friction on this surface. But with help from your instructor in the car and a lead instructor, you soon get the hang of it, up to a point. Learning to drift a car is next. It looks easy when somebody skilled does it, but it can go all kinds of wrong with amateurs. Although the surface looks snow covered, in places the ice is as glassy as a skating rink. Most of the day is spent on the long circuit that takes up a huge part of the lake, starting with a passenger lap to see how our instructor does it. And now it's our turn. As you can see, some of us made it look more difficult than others. Disappearing into your own icy spray was a depressingly common end result. And at the end of the day, we got to see from the passenger seat how it's really done, or how it should be done. It's fast, it's very slippery, it's brutal, and it's incredibly bumpy. And as you can see, even the experts can get a bit wrong-footed on a surface like this in a car like this. <laughs> So, what have I learned here today? Well, a few things. One of which is, you can definitely have too much horsepower. And in the case of a Huracan on a frozen lake, it's about 410 times too much horsepower. Secondly, even with a Lamborghini's great track suspension and its road holding and its balance and its all-wheel drive, when you're on a frozen lake, even from behind the wheel, you are most likely a passenger most of the time. And thirdly, even though snow might look soft and fluffy, you hit it hard enough, you can still tear the spoiler off a Huracan. No names, no pack drill. <laughs>